want to talk about Ciroc for a second. Okay. Okay. So you took on Ciroc with your partner, Diageo, about six years ago. And 84,000 cases, I believe, around 84,000 uh, cases, but you tell the story. You took it from where it was to over 2 million cases this year. You talk about marketing, to make it the number two premium vodka in the world. How'd you do that? This, this community is so powerful. Um, these, 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 these kids are so passionate. These young adults are so passionate that um, they take things from zero to a thousand. Um, I felt that there was no spirits brand that um, was marketed in a responsible way that exemplified aspiration and um, spoke their language. And um, so I, I wanted to, to, to create something that would be the celebration spirit of our generation. And but, nobody else was doing it. So Grey, Grey Goose and Johnny Walker Black and Chris Style, and they, they had, they kind of dissed, you know, this young adult generation. Um, and I think that, that that's been the secret to my success is I, I, cel I celebrate um, young adults. I celebrate what their dreams are, what their visions are, how they live their lives. You know, I really get into the nuances of what they like. And um, I think I was able to build a brand that fit into um, their lifestyle. But the seismic growth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you came from nowhere. Mm -hmm. They had professionals doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, Ciroc existed before you. There was <clears throat> professionals doing it. One of the big, I mean, probably the biggest thing was the power of music. Um, Lil Wayne saying it in, in his records. Rick Ross saying it. Jay-Z saying it. Um, I have an Apple. I don't have a Samsung. But all I can say is anybody here that works for Apple, um, Samsung is on that ass right now. <laughs> OK? And, and, and they, it, that's because they teamed up with the cultural needle movers. And that's us. I mean, the, the facts, no matter what I say here today, you can tell who moves the needle. And so, you know, I'm one of those artists that uh, are, and one of those businessmen that are um, a leader in, 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 in moving the needle and helping to define and curate what's cool. And, and there's a lot of power in that. There, there's, 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 there's a lot of, when, when, when you two got behind um, the iPod, there was, a, there was a lot of power in that. When they decided to make it black, Steve Jobs didn't decide to make it black. You two wanted it to be black. The understanding that and understanding that audience, those different details and those decisions and have, having the fearlessness to change something from white to black um, is how I sold two million cases. That's a great story.